Hello, I'm Ryan Lau, Product Development Engineer at Saris Industrial, and I'm here to give you an overview of our HVAC Building Automation Starter, the BAS. The BAS is a premium HVAC starter suitable for one or three phase applications up to 32 amps and is housed in a NEMA 1 or NEMA 3R enclosed configuration. In this video, I will demonstrate the functionality of the BAS starter as well as point out some of the key features that make it superior to others on the market. Our NEMA 1 BAS starter is enclosed in our uniquely designed UL listed Type 1 housing. The compact design makes installation easy where wall space is a concern, and the cover is easily removable, providing convenient access for input and output wiring. All of our BAS starters come standard with a handoff auto keypad with five integrated LEDs for mode indication as well as run and fault indication. The starter shown here is a combination starter, indicated by the motor circuit protection disconnect meaning that short circuit protection is built into the starter. Our standard starters include everything you see here minus the MCP. At the heart of all of our BAS starters lie our highly rated contactors, providing nearly twice the mechanical life of our competitors' contactors. The contactors also come standard with one normally open and one normally closed auxiliary contact. For convenience, all of our BAS starters come standard with a multi-tap control power transformer, accepting 120, 208, 230, 277, and 460 volt input with a 24 volt secondary for controls. The multi-tap transformer makes our BAS a very versatile starter on the job site. If the contactor is the heart of our starter, then the control board is the brain. It has built-in logic for common HVAC applications as well as providing additional control provisions. As mentioned, this starter is a combination starter, including this MCP disconnect, suitable for one or three phase applications. The disconnect also has the ability to lock the starter in the off position. Our BAS is controlled by our handoff auto keypad shown here. Each LED will illuminate to indicate what mode you are in. The fan will engage when in hand or on mode, and the fan will also engage in auto mode when given a 24 volt signal. Run and fault LEDs are also provided. Our wide range electronic overload shown here comes standard with adjustable FLA setting and adjustable 0 to 30 trip class. This completely eliminates the need for sizing heaters used in traditional starters. Adjustments to the overload can be made with these two dials. The dial on the left for FLA adjustment and the dial on the right for your trip class selection. To demonstrate an overload trip, I will adjust the overload to its lowest allowable setting, then initiate the starter. As you can see, the contactor opens, the fan stops, and fault lights illuminate on the HOA keypad as well as the overload itself. To reset the overload, press and hold the off and on buttons on the HOA keypad for five to eight seconds. Notice that the arrows on the cover of the starter leading towards these buttons. Now I'd like to bring your attention back to the circuit board. Provisions for 24 volt damper control, permissive auto, and wet and dry auto inputs are all integrated into the BAS control board and is standard on all BAS starters. The wet input is another feature that adds flexibility to the BAS starter. This input is designed to eliminate the need for an interposing relay. The terminal can receive a voltage signal from a DDC controller or building automation system using anywhere from 20 to 130 volts AC or DC. Any voltage signal within this range will control the ability to start and stop the starter. The BAS control board comes equipped with two dry inputs for auto run and permissive auto. The auto run dry input is located directly above the wet input and the permissive auto input directly above the auto run input. Both are commonly used to tie into any device that throws an output signal in the form of a simple contact closure, such as a thermostat, CO sensor, pressure sensor, etc. To simulate this, we have placed a jumper in the terminal to close the contact when installed to the circuit board. Notice that when I place the starter in auto mode with the terminal removed, nothing happens. Placing the terminal with the jumper back on the control board will close the contact on the dry input engaging the starter. Remove the contact and the starter will stop. In addition to the terminals I've shown you, the BAS starter also has the capability to control a 24 volt damper motor or actuator. Using the BAS, you only need to send one run command to the starter to power the damper actuator, open the damper, and once fully open, start the motor. The terminal second from the top provides 24 volt output to the damper, while the terminal third from the top provides means for connecting a limit switch. 
If your application needs a 120 volt damper control, our EMS starter can provide both 24 volt and 120 volt damper and actuator control. The last terminal on the BAS control board is the shutdown terminal or emergency power off terminal. When given a signal, this terminal completely disables the starter and its keypad. This terminal is a safety feature to be used in emergency or system override situations only. In the event of a power failure, the BAS is factory defaulted to return to its last known position. For example, if the starter was in the hand position when power to the starter is disconnected, the unit will return to the hand position once power is restored. By adjusting the dip switches on the control board, the user can change how the starter responds in a power failure situation. The starter has the ability to return to the last known position, remain in the off position until manually reset in the desired position, and delay or pause for several seconds after power has been restored, and then return to the hand mode. As you can see, the BAS is one of the most advanced and versatile HVAC starters on the market. If you have any questions or have an application that is not covered in this video, please give one of our sales reps at Saris a call at 1-800-962-3787. I'm Ryan Lau, and thank you very much for your time.